Well, I want to give everybody an update on my, my health. I am finally out of the hospital and back at home. I left the hospital on the 11th uh, last Thursday night at about 8.30. I actually got to walk out of the hospital and uh, I've spent the last six days at home. Uh, a bit of an adjustment, uh, taking lots of pills, but overall it looks like the transplant has been successful. And uh, uh, now, now it's the doctor's visits, the, um, the visits to the Levine Cancer Institute, uh, which I just got back from one. Uh, I was given magnesium because I'm low on magnesium, and uh, but didn't need any other blood products, which was really good. My platelets uh, and my my hemoglobin are all sufficient, and so uh, it, it it's been a a wonderful a wonderful time to to truly be unplugged. Uh, you know, it's it, it, it's quite something to be in a small room for almost 40 days and 40 nights, just shy of that. Uh, hooked up to an IV pole, with all kinds of bags of fluids on it. Um, getting almost no sleep because, you know, they're always taking your vitals or something's going on. And uh, to, to, to suddenly walk out of that hospital uh, and, and, and see the world again, all I saw was four walls. And, and uh, the, the world seemed to me a wondrous place. So just driving home with my dear wife, Kathy, was, uh, was a, trip, a, a privilege and a treat and uh, something that I'll never forget. And uh, now I am in partial isolation. Uh, I have to wear a mask most of the time if I'm out of my room. Um, can't be around uh, a lot of people. But the time for reflection and thought, uh, consideration of what it is that God has for me to do in the remaining years of my life, and I do believe God's going to give me many more years. I don't want to be presumptive. Um, I almost died. Uh, the, the story of how I almost died is, 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 is a story I knew nothing about because I had passed out, I had gone unconscious, and the time in the ICU uh, was, is, is just a blur. I remember little bits and pieces of it, but when my my kids and my wife told me about what I went through in ICU. Uh, it was like they were talking about a different person. I came within a whisper of being in the presence of the Lord, and I'll tell you that makes uh, that makes you look at life completely differently. The, the words "trust in the Lord with all your heart." And lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. It will be healing to your body and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first of all your produce, so that your barns may be filled with plenty and your vats overflow with new wine. All those verses and many others have been uh, coursing through my mind over the last few days. And, and uh, the trust in the Lord, uh, the Lord supernaturally saved me from, from dying. And that's why that verse that I've shared with you before is so precious to me. You will not die but live, and you will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened you severely, but he has not given you over to death. Again, I don't want to be presumptive. Only the Lord knows our days. All the days ordained for us are written in his book before one of them came to be. But 
The doctors that I've talked to are very, very optimistic about the uh, success of the uh, the um, stem cell transplant, the, uh, the 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 stem cells of my son Paul Stephen now taking over uh, my body. My body's still putting up some resistance, so it is it is a tough battle for a while. It'll be a few weeks before uh, I think I'll regain my energy sufficiently, but I've been able to enjoy. This time I fall asleep listening to the Word of Promise, which of course is the um, animated larger than life Bible on uh, CD that uh, we've offered many times at the Christian Research Institute. I just uh, I just love listening to it. And uh, we were able to make many, many friends in the hospital. The nurses on 4B, uh, at Carolina Medical Center are are beyond description. They are the most wonderful people, and the techs and the staff in general they they were uh, they were beyond wonderful to me, and um, I'm I'm so grateful for their care. So I'm back at home. I'm um, encouraged. I'm nourishing myself on the Word of God. I'm getting in some uh, uh, little li- little writings, and uh, uh, as God gives me strength, doing uh, various tasks. I uh, actually walked a mile and a half the other day, which uh, when my wife found out that I snuck out of the house, I was wearing a mask. And just took a mile to walk. She, don't ever do that again. Someone's got to be with you. So yes, honey. And uh, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh, trust me. When Kathy says don't do it again, you don't do it again. So I am so thankful for my dear wife. Uh, she has done so much for me. Uh, it's uh, just amazing. My kids. Uh, if it hadn't been for David visiting me at a particular time in the hospital, I would not be alive right now. He's the one that saw that my uh, all of a sudden my speech was incoherent, and then I went unconscious and got the nurses in, got me into ICU, and it was a uh, it was a close brush with death. And uh, I'm still feeling a lot of the effects of that, um, but day by day, I feel stronger. And uh, I am so encouraged uh, to see the finger of God visible yet invisible is uh, is a wondrous thing. And, And I know that every experience that we have is 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 precious to the Lord. The suffering that we go through is not for naught. It is used by the Lord for our salvation. And so I'm grateful for uh, the experiences that I had. It was it was a long, long period. I never expected to be in the hospital for 40 days, uh, just short of 40 days, but, um, uh, but I was. And uh, getting out of the hospital was uh, a new lease on life and I'm experiencing that now. And uh, again, I don't know. Uh, there's 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 no way of of quantifying or qualifying or uh, fully recognizing the significance of the prayers of God's people. Uh, I am so incredibly blessed to have so many wonderful people praying for me all over the world. And no doubt it was the prayers of God's people that uh, that showed the, the the invisible yet visible hand of God in, 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 in prolonging my life and give me a new lease on life. I, again, I'm very grateful for your prayers for your support of the ministry of the Christian Research Institute. Um, 
You know, actually, I, I, I felt guilty when I was in the hospital because I wasn't working most of the time. I did do a little work, but most of the time I wasn't working. Before, After I went into ICU, I did almost no, no work. Before that, I, I did some work, but I felt almost guilty. But I can tell you, as someone who has led that ministry for uh, how many years is it now? Since uh, it's been over three decades, um, that I, I, I've never really even taken a vacation. And this was a forced vacation and it was wonderful in so many ways because I got to spend really quality time with my kids and my wife and with other people. Uh, I turned my room into a sanctuary and uh, many people that came into that room were, were, were touched, asked questions and opened the doors for conversations. To God be the glory. But thank you because it, it it truly is a function of your prayers, your support, your kindness, your goodness. May God richly bless you and use you for his glory. Only one life soon will be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Tomorrow, my birthday. I'm going to make it to my 69th birthday. And... Um, and again, thank you so much. I uh, won't belabor the video any longer, but I uh, just wanted to uh, touch base with those that have been praying for me and thank them from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, dear friends.